going on to you Taurus out there so you have the unalive card the six of wands and the king of pentacles wouldn't be a Taurus video if Scorpio wasn't in it it wouldn't be a Taurus video if Scorpio influence wasn't in it listen for you Taurus um okay so okay so some of you Taurus are a little bit you some of you Taurus are, are kind of a little bit questioning yourselves a little bit like should you start playing mind games too since a lot of people are out here playing it I would honestly say to you I don't I don't suggest you do it because at the end of the day playing all those mind games is just going to backfire on the person who's playing it because what it does is it isolates you. It, it does. It, it 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 puts you put yourself in a position where you rub so many people the wrong way to the point where the world ends up becoming a very small place for you because people get a hold of your reputation, right? Um, the Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles is like you know you you rock solid but at the same time it's it's a little bit frustrating and i get it right like i get that people can be frustrating when it comes to wasting your time and getting on your nerves and everything like that i i get it you know people be on some nonsense but the the six of wands and the king of pentacles is you are moving in the right direction because shout out to nipsey also but you are moving in the right direction uh, because you're much more aware of what is important. You know, it, it, it would be, see, it would be one thing if you, Taurus, didn't have an understanding as to what was important and dating and relationships is the only thing that matters to you, right? Um, but you, Taurus, already have an understanding of what is important in the first place, right? That you do have a life, your life is worth living, and that you have to concentrate on making your life even more worth living instead of trying to resort yourself to, you know, playing head games and mind games and getting people upset and, you know, lying and being inconsistent and stuff like this. That ruins your own reputation. That ruins, that makes it worse because let those people ruin their own reputation behind being inconsistent. Let them show my dear Taurus, that they are not good money. You know, like they their credibility is not good anywhere. Let them show that, okay? You, Taurus, continue to be consistent and continue to do what you need to do. The Three of Swords and the Three of Wands is about because at the end of the day, you have to look out for you, but you have to look out for you the right way. You don't want to start trying to get back at the world because you know you because you've been slighted you don't want to do that you know i don't suggest you do that um you want to the three of wands you want to you want to pay attention to what kind of options you have because you have a lot you can talk to other people hit wherever whatever wherever state or country you're in you can fly there's plenty of people who's finding other opportunities in different countries and other <laughs> and other type of stuff, right? Like you, this, this, a lot of things that you Taurus can essentially do. You can change jobs if it's people that you were romantically into on the job and things backfired or things didn't go so well. You can always, you can always change jobs and everything like that, all of that, right? So the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands is a comparison of, it's saying that Instead of you, Taurus, looking at like the things that was wrong with you, look at what's going well and, and really pay attention to that. That's what this channel, that's entirely, but that's part of what this channel is for, is to get you to understand that this silly games that dating and relationships and people play and stuff like this, it, it's, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it does not have any substance to it really like that. And that to look behind the curtain is where the real power is. These goofy antics that some people play is is that, it's goofy. And that it doesn't have any real power in the real world like that. 
you know, because because I'm going to go ahead and say what it is, because part of what it is, is trying to get somebody to, to trust you. Right. And to think that they get you, which is to trust them in that sense so that they can betray that trust and show you, ha ha, much more unpredictable than you thought. Booga, 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 booga. I made you think that I was going to do this because I lulled you into trusting that I would always do this from repetition and ha 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 I'm not actually going to do this I'm really over here doing this it's... while they're doing that you Taurus just build yourselves up from the ground up don't worry about what other people got going on as far as like being overly worried about it don't worry about your progress as far as in comparison to another person worry about your own progress compared to where you were and now how and now how you are don't worry about that um the ace of pentacles and the judgment right here is about how um a lot of you also have to understand that what you've got going on right here is the ace of pentacles and the judgment is about you uh taurus uh, and then things will make it things will make sense because you'll be able to accurately judge what is worth and who is worth your time and who's not you know don't want you don't want to start getting into the revenge of I need to you know start playing people because you've been played a couple of times truth is everybody gets played me you I, everybody gets played every single person right no exception it gets played it, 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 it it's part of life you know it's what you do with it after it's what you do with it when when you get that will you change it you know will you change that and turn that into an opportunity or are you going to take that on and really get upset about it it's up to you you see what i mean so the ace of pentacles and the judgment is about don't get caught up with what others got going on okay the wheel of fortune the seven of pentacles you have all the power in the world for you uh taurus to decide if you're gonna get mad or not you do i understand that you know you will get a little bit upset but not to the point where it will cause you to make certain decisions to ruin your own value right seven of pentacles there's a lot of people who are fronting to be something that they're not, okay? The Six of Swords, um, and no matter how much it is that they try to play it off, they, they always, it's, you know, Six of Swords is about coming in or going out. They always, it's always like somebody who's playing a game, don't be um, misled. They're always over dependent on you if you Taurus decide that you're not going to give them any attention they're going to just try harder to get your attention because their whole life is based upon trying to get another person mad or upset by by um playing mind games and pranking them right and them trying to convince you that you're in a relationship with them or it's heading that way is the prank like oh you know we pranked you it's a lot of, like I said, it's a lot of time wasted. But let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So overall for this reading, what, I'm, what I've observed is that, you know, you Taurus really wanted to, like you Taurus really wanted to regroup and figure out like, okay, what is going on? And you Taurus are just going through a time, right, this moment where it's, you're just unsure as to what all of this stuff means. And I'm putting things into perspective. I'm helping you put things into perspective. Like, hey, you know, remember that it's not as serious as far as the games that they play is not as serious as you think they are, right? Like, you don't have to participate. Putting the power back in, in your court to understand it, you don't have to participate with them. You don't. When I see somebody playing games with me, I just don't reply or I tell the person, hey, you know, don't even worry about it. You know, don't don't worry about it. You're cool. And I, and I just accept that for what it is and I keep it moving. You know, same thing. Do, do I get upset? 
yeah, sometimes I do. And sometimes I'll express my, my anger or my um, disappointment off camera, right? Nothing too crazy, but I'll, I'll express that. But the reason why is because of the time being wasted and just the overall goofiness of it. It's like, dang, like you did all this just to get attention? You attention starved? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like all of this for attention. Like you did all that for attention. Like, that's sad. But anyway, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Page of Swords, Three of Cups. Okay, yeah this person okay so they have to so so okay so you Taurus are trying to figure out like why did they do that in the first place they got to do that to get you caught up with them they gotta like I said before right right they have to do that to get you caught up they have to this person that you were dealing with they ha you was dealing with they have to in their head they had to do that to get you caught up. They had to um, breadcrumb you and make it seem like things were going well and then turn on you because they don't know how to be in a relationship. They don't want to do the things that's conducive to being in a, in, a, in a good one. So they had to do that in order to, like I said, to get you caught up. What they're doing is they had to make it so that um, you were... A, even a little bit emotionally interested so that that way they can uh, pull back or betray your trust or something like this, right? To get you to be convinced that this feeling in you is love. And because I've said this a couple of times before, I don't know if I've ever said it in, in a Taurus video, but a lot of the times what people consider love to be when they're dealing with a dysfunctional relationship and a dysfunctional ex that's not actually really love the reason why it is a lot of times people end up like really missing the other person is because they're really looking for closure and and the one thing that the other person didn't made sure that they did not give to them was closure so now they're they're real they're spiraling right thinking so much about this person and they're misconstruing that or conflating that or mixing the two up for love and it's not it's just that you want clarity and this person made sure that that was what they did not give you so that they can keep you hooked coming back the thing now is is that and and you will uh misconstrue it for love like i was talking about this is why a lot of these dysfunctional relationships they last so long it's because People will be in relationships with this dysfunctional individual and they'll be like, oh, they love them. It's like, no, the person just got a Jedi mind trick on you. That's not it's not that you like this person. This person is just using a Jedi mind tactics on you. That's all. It's not actually love. You don't actually love that person. You don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that disrespected you like that. Right. And consistently does it right. The Page of Swords and the Three of Cups is about how, so a lot of you, um, I will say this though, right? This person is, if you have social media, right? And this person knows about your social media, this person is definitely paying attention to your social media and they're stalking you and they're paying attention to see if you, uh, Like, like if you have moved on so that they could swoop in and tell you that, it, it, like, how do I say this, right? I don't necessarily consider that stalking, but they're paying attention to your social media if you have it. And what they're doing is they're paying attention to see what you post, what's going on with you that way. They can, they can um, think about when they're gonna basically come back swoop in again and then be like hey you know hi what's going on let's hang out and then they could breadcrumb you 
and then and then they could breadcrumb you yet again so just be on just be on your p's and q's comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video